Hey everyone, welcome to Hawk Shooting. Hope you're having a great day. Today we are doing question 19 from chapter 13a. So this is your static dynamics chapter. So just wanted to make sure I cover this question, uh, one for each chapter at least. So 13a, last question, let's have a go. Question 19, you have three forces, five newtons, seven newton, and p newton, all in the diagram right here, acting on a particle at the origin. Find the value of p, so the magnitude of that force, that will produce a resultant force along the line OX, the vector OX, so they're going horizontally. If the line of action of the P Newton, P force, is perpendicular to OX, so this uh, force right here is going perpendicular to OX, so it's just going straight up, okay? And the question is saying how much P would have to be so that your, opt your particle, whatever the particle is, only moves horizontally along OX and does not move up or does not move down meaning it does not have a, a vertical force, okay? So the, or the vertical force balances out and turns out to be zero, okay? So what that means is whatever force is going up cancels out with whatever force is going down. So we just have to look into that. So let's have a look at all our forces. We've got five Newton going up, we've got seven Newton going down, and we've got P Newton, which even though the arrow is below the origin, it, it's the same thing. The vector is essentially pushing it up, okay? So that's essentially the right, uh, writing so that's essentially the same as writing your P force going up this way, okay? So that's the same. It's just one is pushing, the other one's kind of pulling. But what that means is we've got two forces trying to pull the object up and we've got one force trying to pull it down. Obviously, seven is bigger than five, so P would have to be something, okay, for it to balance out. So let's have a look. How would you solve for this question? Well, let's look at the five Newton going up first. The vertical force going up for this, if you were to draw a right angle triangle, would be 5 multiplied by sine 35, which would then give you the opposite length, okay? So just using trig, you know, if you have your hypotenuse, which is 5, and you've got your angle 35 degrees, and you want to find, let's say, y, which is your vertical force, then all you need to do is sine 35 degrees equals to y over 5, and then you want to solve for y, which is your vertical force, then that would just be 5 multiplied by sine of the angle, so that's 35 degrees, okay? If you want to do horizontal, then it would just be um, your magnitude, which is 5, multiplied by cos of the angle instead. But we know that this force right here going up, I'll just use um, the same color, so yellow, would be 5 multiplied by sine 35 degrees, okay? Now, we also have P that is also going up, so we don't know what that is, but we'll call it P. But let's look at going down. Going down over here, if you draw another triangle, so what is the vertical force going down? That is just the same logic that we've used here, but it's going down instead. So it's 7 multiplied by the opposite of that triangle, which is sine 35 degrees, okay? So that's what is going down, how much force is going down. Now, obviously, 5 sine 35 is less than 7 sine 35, so P would just be that difference. Whatever the difference is, that would be P, because if P is equal to that difference, then what we get is P plus 5 sine 35, then obviously that would equal to 7 sine 35, which is what we want. We want the forces going vertically up to be the same as the force going vertically down so that it doesn't move up or down at all, okay? They balance each other out. So if you want to solve for P, guys, it's just 7 sine 35 degrees minus 5 sine 35 degrees. Quick and simple, guys. Chug inside your calculator, your final answer should be. One point one four seven. Okay, and then obviously it has to be in Newton because your unit is in Newton. But aside from that, guys, that is it for question nineteen. A very short video today. Hopefully you found it useful. And if you did, please leave a like. Aside of that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.